Welcome back to the deep dive where we do the research so you don't have to. We're diving into a paper today and um, the title is a bit of a mouthful, but we'll break it down. It's called Not All Heads Matter, a head level KV cache compression method with integrated retrieval and reasoning. Yeah. You're not kidding about that title. But don't worry, the concept itself is actually pretty straightforward. What's really cool about this paper is it tackles this huge problem with LLMs. Yes. The whole memory issue. Right, right. As these LLMs are processing longer and longer pieces of text, like imagine giant code bases or these super long conversations. Oh, I see. The memory it takes to do that just explodes and it really starts to affect speed and how well it actually works. It's kind of like when you try to run some crazy complex program on your phone and it just can't keep up. Exactly. You hit those limits pretty fast. So how does this head KV thing they're talking about in the paper, how does that actually help? Well, the big idea behind head KV is that they realize not every part of the LLM's memory is like equally important for every task. Okay, that makes sense. It's kind of like our own brains, right? We don't use the same parts of our brain to solve a math problem that we would to remember the lyrics to a song. Right, right. So instead of treating all the parts of the model's memory the same, Head KV figures out which parts are like the MVPs for specific tasks. Exactly. Think of them like attention heads, almost like these specialized units inside the LLM. Okay. Head KV figures out which ones are essential for certain jobs. Like, let's say the LLM has to find facts in a huge document and then actually like connect the dots and make sense of them to answer a question. Right. Head KV will figure out which heads are the best at finding that info and which ones are better at the reasoning part, and it gives them more memory. So it's like prioritizing, yeah. giving the all-star players more resources and the others kind of step back. Exactly. That way the LLM can focus its memory power on what's really important for that specific task. Now they also mentioned this head KVR too. What's yeah. that about? Ooh, this is where it gets really interesting. Head KVR2 takes the core idea of Head KV and adds this whole new way of looking at how good those attention heads actually are. Like, it's not just about finding the info, it's about how well they can actually use it to reason and make connections. So going beyond just finding the answer, but actually understanding it. Exactly. They actually designed these tests to check this, they call it reasoning in a haystack. Reasoning in a haystack, I like that. It's like finding a needle in a haystack, but then figuring out what you can actually do with that needle. You know, that reminds me, speaking of optimizing and making things more efficient, for our coder listeners out there, yeah. have you heard about Echo Hive's 1000X cursor course? I have not. This thing teaches developers how to code crazy fast using an AI-powered code editor called Cursor. Wow. It's pretty in-depth. 27 chapters, over 18 hours of content, all focused on maximizing coding productivity. Very cool. You can find the link to that in their X profile. Definitely worth checking out. Now, getting back to our deep dive, we talk a lot about the theory behind Head KV. Yeah. But how did it actually perform in practice? Yeah. Did they actually put this to the test? Oh, they definitely did. They didn't just talk about it. They used some real world scenarios to see how well it worked. Okay. So tell me about the experiments. What did they do? So they took a couple of really popular open source large language models, Llama 2 and Mistral 7B. Okay, so models that people are already using out there. Right, and they wanted to see how this new head KV would do on these models with these really challenging tests that are designed to make them process and connect info from long chunks of text. Welcome back to the deep dive. Before the break, we were talking about how Head KV prioritizes memory based on the task at hand. Right, and you were explaining how they actually figure out which of those attention heads are the most important ones. Right, those reasoning in a haystack tests. Yeah, that sounds a lot like that needle in a haystack problem. Exactly. It's like imagine this giant haystack the size of a football field. And there's this tiny little needle hidden somewhere in it, and the LLM has to find it. So in this case, the needle is like a piece of info, right? Yeah, it's a specific piece of information that the researchers are looking for. Okay, so how does that translate to identifying those important attention heads? So they give the LLM a ton of text yep. with this needle buried in there somewhere, and then they ask it a question that can only be answered if it can find that specific piece of information. Gotcha. And as the LLM is working on this problem, the researchers are watching to see which of those attention heads are firing the most. So the ones that light up the most are the ones that are like, hey, I think I found the needle. Exactly. The ones that are consistently active, those are the ones that seem to be really crucial for that retrieval task. It's like they're peering into the LMM's brain and watching it think. Right. But here's the thing. They didn't just stop there. 
Okay. Because just being good at finding the information, that's not the whole story. Right. You got to know what to do with it. Yeah. Exactly. They wanted to figure out how good these heads were at actually understanding and using the information. So like, okay, you found the needle, but what's it for? Exactly. So they came up with this even more advanced test they called reasoning in a haystack. Okay. It's building on that first idea, but now it's not just finding the needle. Mm -hmm. The LLM has to understand how that needle relates to other info in the text and use it to answer more complex questions. So they're really making them think, not just memorize. Right. And the results of this test were really interesting. It turns out some of those attention heads are way better at reasoning than others. Oh, really? Yeah. And head KVR2, the one that considers both retrieval and reasoning, it can actually figure out which heads are good at both. So it's like they're assembling this dream team of detectives, each with their own specialty. Exactly. To solve these complex information problems. And that's really the key, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just about adding more memory. It's about understanding how the LLM works mm -hmm. and making it smarter. Precisely. It's about working smarter, not harder. This is all really cool stuff. You know what else is cool? What's that? That 1000X cursor course we mentioned before from Echo Hive. Right, for our coders out there. It teaches coders how to code super fast using this AI code editor. 27 chapters, over 18 hours of content. If you're interested, the link is in their X profile. Definitely a great resource. But getting back to our deep dive, we've talked a lot about how Head KV works. Yeah. But did it actually deliver? Did they see real improvements when they put it to the test? That's the big question, right? Did it actually work? Let's get into those results. Welcome back to the deep dive. So did this head KV thing actually work? Did it live up to the hype? They put it to the test, ran it through a whole battery of evaluations. Yeah. They used Llama 2 and Mistral 7B. You know those open source LLMs that a lot of developers use. Right, right. So real world models. Exactly. They wanted to see how this new method would perform in those real world scenarios. You know, with models that people are actually using out there. Yeah. And you were saying earlier, they found that head KV outperformed other methods, especially when you don't have a ton of memory to work with. Exactly. They focused on testing head KVR2. Remember, that's the one that takes into account both how well it finds information and how well it can reason with it. Right. And the results were really impressive. Even with a much smaller KV cache, it still performed amazingly well. So how close are we talking here? Like how much did they actually reduce the memory and still get good results? Well, in one test, they found that head KVR2, using only a fraction of the full memory, they actually hit 97% of the performance you'd get if you use the entire KV cache. 97%. So almost no difference in accuracy. Almost none. Yeah. And that's with using way less memory. So basically, you're getting the same level of performance from a much leaner, more efficient model. Exactly. And it wasn't just memory usage either. Oh, really? What else? It didn't really slow things down that much either, like during the decoding phase when the LLM is actually generating text. Oh, interesting. So you're not sacrificing speed for efficiency here. Nope. You get both. It's like upgrading your computer's RAM without it affecting how fast your programs run. That's huge. But let's step back for a second. For our listeners who aren't, you know, deep in the weeds of LLM research, why should they care about this? What's the big takeaway for, say, the average developer? Well, it changes how we think about making LLMs better. It's not just about making them bigger and giving them more memory. It's about understanding how they work on a deeper level and then finding these clever ways to make them more efficient. So it's a completely different approach. Exactly. It has a huge impact on making LLMs more accessible to everyone. Imagine if you could run these powerful models on everyday devices because they're so much more efficient. That would be incredible. Yeah, it'd open up a world of possibilities. It's really pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI. Speaking of pushing boundaries, that reminds me of the 1000x cursor course we mentioned earlier from Echo Hive. It's designed to help coders write code incredibly fast using AI. You can check out the link in their X profile. That sounds like a game changer. It really does. But back to our deep dive. I think we've covered the head KV paper pretty thoroughly. If you're interested in learning more, I definitely recommend checking out the full paper. Definitely worth a read, even if you're not an AI expert. It's a glimpse into the future of LLMs, a future where they're even more powerful and accessible. This has been another exciting deep dive. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.